Hello, I'm Nick Trefethen, and I'm going to show you a bit of Cheb fun. Let's begin by saying x equals Cheb fun of x. So I'll type that into my MATLAB screen, x equals Cheb fun of x, and I'll plot it. Now that's not a very exciting function, so let's immediately make a more interesting function, cosine of 20x. If I plot that, you see what you expect to see. Now, Chebfun does the kind of thing MATLAB does, but for continuous objects like functions instead of discrete objects like vectors. So, for example, if I say sum of f, I don't get the sum of a, num a set of numbers, I get an integral over the interval where f is defined, which by default is minus 1 to 1. If I say f of 0.3, for example, I get the function evaluated at 0.3. If I say g equals e to the x minus 1, that's another function. Let's plot that. There's g e to the x minus 1. Let's construct h equals the maximum of f and g. If I plot that, you see we have a piecewise smooth function, which Chebfun is very good at dealing with. And we can play with that in all sorts of ways. We can find its maximum or its standard deviation or all sorts of things that you're used to if you're a MATLAB user. I can also compute the roots of h, and that's a vector of numbers. Suppose I plot them. I could say plot r against h of r, and I might make them red dots. So there they are, the roots of the function. Let's do one final thing to say goodbye. I'll say hold off again, and I'll say s equals scribble. There is no fun like Cheb fun. Now, I'm not really going to explain what this is, but let's plot the result. I'll plot x with axis equal, and you can see this heartwarming message. Let's do one computation on that. I'll say plot e to the 3i times s. And let's make that red. Axis equal. There is no fun like Chep fun.